What's up? What's up, Train World? It's your boy Boyne back at it again. Once again, I'm at my favorite train store. Y'all, let me make sure y'all can see it. Y'all know what it is. My favorite train store. I'm coming here today because um, I have some stuff that I want to sell. And instead of selling it on eBay, it's best to bring it here. And Joe always gives me a, a fair deal. And I usually don't take cash. I take store credit. It's simpler that way. And, um, and then we'll look at some new stock he has inside. Viewers, y'all always hear me talking about my friend Joe here at my favorite train store. And he's the one who got me into old scale um what else did he get me into g scale and i did get some deals um so here ladies and gentlemen my friend joe um he's gonna be at the train show and i'm always talking about him but i want y'all to see his face and what he looks like and he's very handsome um <laughs> so joe tell him a little bit about your store and how long it's been here and the name of the store is New Brooklyn Railroad, New Brooklyn being the old name for West Columbia. We opened in the fall of 1985, and so we're working on year 38 that, that we have been here. Okay, and y'all, he showed me old pictures of what this was before it was a train store, and it actually was his father's gas station. It was actually built by my great-grandfather in 1922. And y'all, his home it's that old too. His house was just <laughs> how, how how old is the house is around it's two years older than it, the, the it, property? Yeah, it was occupied in, in June of 1920. By who? By by my great grandfather. Y'all y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is um, heritage around here. Mm -hmm. But this store, but if I could, I wish I had. To, you have the pictures of the old store, though. Yeah. We're gonna pull up the pictures so I can show y'all how it used to look. Um, and people always tell me about how this neighborhood was back in the days and um he showed me the picture and i love historical pictures and stuff like this unfortunately i don't have any pictures dating back to 1922 there there's a picture from from 1957. okay let me see if i can get a good shot let me hold it up and who is in this picture that is my father all right y'all this is the location that you'll see out in the front it went time fly, and y'all are. Right. And then that's uh, 1952. Y'all, look at this. And the only thing I think that's different in the store is what? What construction did you have done that was different? We, we, we tore every, everything off to the top of the brick wall and rebuilt the entire roof structure. Okay, all right, y'all. I'm gonna get you closer. Look at the gas. I'm on, how much was gas back then? 50? Tw tw 25 cents or whatever roughly <laughs> i'm gonna show this picture again this is nice this is nice this is nice okay people thank you joe and y'all y'all well please go see him at the train show this um saturday and where is it gonna be at jamil temple all right y'all let's take a look at the store and um i brought some stuff in that i'm going to try to get a deal with but like i was telling y'all i don't take cash i take store credit because i'm in here too many times to even ask for any money so let's just see what i can get y'all this is one of the items that i don't want because it's too big and once again joe tell me why this is so much bigger than the rest of my stuff there, there's actually three different sizes of trains that all run on o-gauge track there there's the traditional size uh which came from the 027 which means that they're they're very very small compared to true o scale mm -hmm. and then there's uh what they call standard o which which is a little bit bigger which is what this car is and then there's true 148 o scale okay cars and here's another here's another box car that i don't want i like them but mm -hmm. it's they because they sit up so high mm-hmm and that's the same thing with this. That's that's a forty foot uh, true, uh, a uh, four, four, forty foot standard O box car. Okay, all right. Those two, I can't. I they look funny on my layout. I can't mess with them. And I need the. I need the. This is an Atlas car, I think. It is. And, and somebody has swapped out trucks. I did. Okay. I have the original trucks though. Because the trucks was um it they, was they were scale trucks probably 
Those all, are not all, all plastic and with, with plastic wheels. Well, I have the original trucks. I have them. Okay, well, if you want me to take this car, I might would like to have them. Okay, I got to find them. So I'll, 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 you can hold on to it because I'm not taking it back home. Or I'll bring it back with the real car. Right. You know, At Atlas made two rail scale in the 1960s. Okay. I didn't know there was a different in the truck. All yeah. right. All right. I got the. Yeah. I, I might have one of them in the truck. I'll see. Yeah, that. This, this would cause this car to sit too high. Okay, that's why I changed the truck. The, because the other ones sit that high too. Because it was sitting the, too high. That's the, why. The scale truck should not they ha were. Have, it, have it sit that high. They had the same see bridge. It? See, it had that same yeah. little lip like well, this. Well, true, true, true scale trucks uh, should uh, just barely clear the seal. Uh -uh. The other ones were sitting up as high too. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody changed them. That's why I well, changed. I thought they were coming down. Well, if not, then um, you ain't gonna want to be bothered with that one. Then mm -hmm. um, I need the the other the other fitting. For, okay. You know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. That's. Well, you know, you know, not this kind of clip on the um, what you call it? The knuckle coupler. Knuckle coupler. I need that. Okay, people. And this is a gift for you, Joe. This is for you. I don't want these. I got too many of them. I know you. <laughs> all right <laughs> we could do something with them yeah i gave him some show him what i i gave him these um people they wasn't true scale but you know he'll get rid of them somehow and um and i needed some uh and i needed some uh relays for my lights because i don't want to blow them out so i brought these in so he could see what these is about and another thing I'm bringing in that I do not want is this, y'all. I don't care what he gives me for it because I bought it from him. But I don't need this no more. I don't care what you give me for it, Joe. This has... We're looking at the Pole Express. Yeah. It's the... It's the... What is not... It's not the box. What is that? The, That's a baggage car. Uh, it's the baggage car. And y'all, I was bugging out on the mm -hmm. price. It's over three hundred dollars, and he says it does. I it's, don't. It's part of Lionel's Vision Line. Okay. Oh we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vision yeah, Line we'll, stuff we'll, is expensive. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what is it? It has its own sound in it. It has sound and, and, and lighting. Yep. And they call it a reindeer car, but it's really a baggage car. Okay. You got some Harry Potter stuff here. And that that goes with with this size. Okay. Cars. Yeah. Even though this is not vision line now, this this is just a regular. But it matches. Uh, scale size, uh, heavyweight car. And how much is with, this with, one? With interior and, and passenger seat. Uh, this is two. This is two nineteen. Yeah. So, so it has interior. Okay. Li lighting and, and actually figure, that figures inside. Yeah, that you're it. gonna pay more for that. Yeah. So you're talking about a whole set of vision line st stuff might cost mm -hmm. you a thousand dollars for a whole. Yeah. Well, they, they made a scale 12, 20, 25 steam locomotive and, and tender that, that was $1,200 to go yeah. with this. Now, I love this protein. This is nice right here. This is nice. What the devil is this? What's the price on this? Oh, that's not bad. $64? Mm -hmm. This is nice. This is nice. Okay. Y'all, y'all can see this stuff is... And he says he knows what everything is... Where everything is, is um, everything is here, but I I don't know. I doubt it very. <laughs> I, I said I know what I have. Right. I don't know where it is. <laughs> and here we have a, a freight expansion set. What is the scout? Oh, this, so this is a small set. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the I love this building right here. This is beautiful. 159. That's a nice price. That's a decent price. Yeah, this is nice. Got some stuff over here. This is the, the corner throwaway stuff back here. Well, not throwaway. It's probably at a discount price back here. What is this? Uh, trussle set. 25 bucks. Um, I need some of these things right here. But, yeah, that's about the price. Y'all, viewers, you always got to realize, when you look on eBay, which I despise, 
but every once in a while I do get something simple on there. You gotta always figure out it's used, the shipping, um, the taxes, and your weight. Your mind will just come to see Joe and buy his stuff. Come, come, take care of him. And I'm quite sure if you mention my name, he'll give you a 1% discount. He ain't gonna give you too much. <laughs> he might give you a 1% discount if you mention my name. I don't know. Would you do that, Joe? 1% discount? Uh, probably, but uh, a, lot, a lot of things already discounted 10% off of uh, MSRP. All right, y'all people, just come here and mention my name and say hi to Joe and buy something. <laughs> Looking at some of the people now, and we discussing the different sizes of old scale, and some brands might be a little bigger, and some might be a little smaller, because these are... Uh, Atlas and these are sitting people, but um, those are smaller, those, okay. those are way smaller. Yeah, I'm looking at them, they're, they're, they're almost HO in size, but, but they're made to fit the uh passenger cars. But you know something, Woodland Scenics do give you better detail with their stuff, that's why it's worth that's why it's worth the money. This is nice mm -hmm. right here. You can actually see their eyes and everything with Woodland Scenics. This is stuff right here, I, I guess it is worth it. If, you know, if you want, if you want it, what is this right here? Is this a bum sitting? Oh, these is bums. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Yeah, every, every package of figures is, is a mini scene. Yeah. Uh, canoers, campers. Yeah. Uh, this is a fa family fishing trip now, with, I with, with, with a John boat. I like this. This is good for because you put you got furniture for inside the depot mm -hmm. as well. This is nice. And with these with these twenty five bucks here, yeah, that's worth it. That's well worth it. This is nice. And here's ooh, this is cool. Even though phone booths don't exist no more, but yeah. see, this is for older scenery though. Mm -hmm. This is for older scenery. Yeah. Oh, okay. It has the um meters. Yeah, there, there's several companies like Woodland Scenic to, that like to model nothing newer than the 1970s. Okay, I got you. I got and, you. And, and, that, and that's that's what these are. Uh, the uh, classic metalworks, their vehicles, that they don't make anything newer than the 1970s. What, what scenery is this? That's that's a sidewalk news stand. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, this is cool. Okay. That's nice. And this is full figure folks. Mm -hmm. Fat people? Yes. <laughs> this is nice. I like this right here. This is nice. Yeah, Woodland Scenics is worth it. Okay. You know what I noticed too, Joe? And all the um people, they're not gonna have too many blacks. I guess if they had a whole bunch of blacks, they would figure it was racist. <laughs> They, 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 they have a few. They, they, they yeah, but they're not going to. They never have a uh, bunch of them because uh, I guess they. Uh, hobos. All right. <laughs> let me, let me get All right. We got some trees right here. Y'all, y'all need to come check Joe out at the train show and at his store. His uh, prices is real reasonable. They're real. They decent. Like I said, have, when you uh, always compare stuff have, with uh, eBay and them other have, shopping uh, channels. Uh, and uh, it's best sometimes just come get it brand new. And if you have any problems. You can always bring it back, and once you come to a store and you've been shopping for a while, Joe always gives me a, a, a hookup, and I'm gonna show you what I got when we get to my house. Right, let's check out a few other things. We got some holiday stock right here. I mean, there's there's tons of stuff right here. Um, he does he does have engines, and um, what is this right here? Christmas? I don't know. All right, he does he does have a he does have a Hudson. You know something, y'all? I'm gonna pull the Hudson out. Okay, this is a New York Central Hudson, and this is a Lionel. Hey, Joe, yeah. this Hudson, what is it? Does it have everything on it? I didn't read the box. It's not like it's, it doesn't have command at all. It, it, it has Lion, Lion Chief, which uh, it has all the same features. I mean, can I run it yeah. with my um, control? 
Oh, wait a minute. No, that, that's old. That's old? Yeah, that that is uh, conventional. That was made in 1985. Okay, it's beautiful though. But it's yeah, brand new. That, that, that is that is scale. That, that's, yeah, I know that. That, I, that is a reproduction of the scale Hudson that was made in the pre-war days and again in 1950. So it's like that gray one I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So if I bought, uh, if, I, if I wanted this, I would just upgrade it. But, but just it, it, it has rail sound, but but does not have digital command. Okay. All right. Like like my gray yeah. one. All right. That's it's, it was 85, right? Yeah, yeah, 1985. So yeah. it's like the eight. It's like the yeah. um the eight. What is it? The gray one is what? The eight. Se, no, se, uh, seven eighty-five. Seven hundred E was the pre-war number, and seven seventy-three was the nineteen fifty number. This is a beautiful locomotive. Tool. I do. Not, I want. A, I want a Hudson though. But my Hudson has to be. I, I need a, a H. I need a MTH Hudson with all the bells and whistles. Okay, people. This is what I brought home. As soon as I walked in the store, Joe said, "I got something for you." Because I'm always telling him, um, you got any special deals or stuff that's in the cut and people be bringing stuff in? I said, let me know. And um, y'all, he said, um, I said, what do you want for it? He said, give me 20 bucks. And I always go, what's wrong with it? But most of the time, even if the price is real cheap, it does work. And um, so he said, hey, give me 20 bucks. So I said, hey, all right, give it to me. And it didn't cost me nothing because I had store credit from the stuff I sold. So that's for another reason I love going to Joe's store. And as you might or might not know, I do have this big hauler right here. But the one I just picked up seems to have more um, details. Um, the windows are different. It has the handrails in the back. Um, and the reason he gave it to me so cheap, he said it was chipping paint and the hatch for the battery is missing and he said it fell down in the um, tender so we'll see what's happening with that but even if it didn't run 20 bucks just for display why not you know i got this one why not have that and there's something else i got from him like a week ago i want you to check this out and this is something else i picked up from him too i know the angle is not that great because i have it on display um, it's more or less a toy, but um, and it works. He said, "Give me 20 bucks," and what I'm gonna do is put it in my son's room. But um, it was pretty. I like how it looked, and um, so I said, "Give it to me." Okay, people, I got it on the track. Um, I tried to do some testing, but being that the track is not even and we've had bad weather, um, it ain't gonna really go around. But I just wanted to make sure the train was working, so let's just check that out. I'm not gonna be able to give you a full motion because it's um it's not proper. <laughs> I just wanted to test the train out. Let's go backwards. And you know something, probably my other train would go around completely. Because it's a little bit more, it's a better train than this. And I think it makes a big difference the condition of the train itself this is a cheaper model so it ain't gonna do what it's supposed to do but i bet you my other train go around completely let me check that out yeah this this track is bad it needs to be evened up even though better trains do run smoother but this thing is not even at all so the weather's been bad and what i do recommend what I would do is definitely have a battery operated train. It makes it easier for the train, but still having an even train track would make a big difference. Even the other train would have went around. But you know something? It is what it is. Until I do what I gotta do to make this um, perfect, it's gonna be like this. Well, it's your boy Boings, back at it again. Thank you for spending time with me. Till we meet again, peace.